Hey everybody, it's Drake, the Wupple. Ready for another great adventure? Today, Nassau, Bahamas. Yes, another cruise port, very built up for cruisers. And we're gonna go over some things, some do's and don'ts, uh, what I found about going to Nassau. So come on, let's go. Refreshing. First in Nassau is a place called Paradise Island. It's a very big facility. It's been very built up. And from the cruise ship, you can get there by taking a cab. Uh, it's about $4, go over a bridge, and you'll get over to Paradise Island. They have a huge hotel. It's split up into four categories as far as for the hotel. They have plenty of things to do. Water park, golf, of course the beach, uh, some paths and trails to walk around on. Very, very interesting. Now, in recent years, they have, as Paradise Island, has gotten a little bit of competition from another place called Bahamar. They've built their own water park and they have their hotel. They both have casinos and the casinos will probably remind you, if you're used to going to Vegas, will remind you of the MGM style casino. Um, of course, aquarium uh, to see the fish, sharks, stingrays, this is at Baja Mar. And so they're really in competition with each other. Baja Mar is a little bit farther away from port and you'll have to go down a bay road. Baby Flamenco! There's also a very pretty destination called Blue Lagoon Island. Now, if you're considering going to Blue Lagoon Island, I would suggest that you make arrangements through the ship for the excursion on this one. You have to get on a boat, have to go out and travel. I would hate for you to miss the ship coming back. So that would be key. 
On Blue Lagoon Island, nicer beaches. Blue Lagoon Island is home to dolphin encounters. They also have sea lions. I'm starving. Arawak K is locally known as fish fry. There are numerous restaurants set up that serve fried fish, conch, seafood to your liking. The most famous one of these is Twin Brothers. Now, if Twin Brothers is closed, there's also a place called Goldie's. Now, I haven't heard of any bad restaurants in this area because this place is well known for this and caters to tourists, so you shouldn't have to worry about it. Another unique place is Ardastra Gardens. It has a zoo, gardens, flamingos. It's a conservation center, and so they really want to keep the area clean and pristine. There's Clifton Heritage National Park. Again, a park to go around and see and do things. If you have a lot of time, in the Bahamas, you might want to check this out, or this might be on your pass list because there's so many other things to see. A third really cool place around Port is actually Nassau downtown itself. There are a lot of art galleries, shopping. There is a pirate museum. A straw market. Which is very unique. The Queen Stairs.
Raycliffe Chocolatier. For anybody who smokes cigars, yes. The same people who make Raycliffe cigars have a chocolate shop and have a nice restaurant. That hit the spot. I need coffee. This is part one of a video series. There were so many things to cover that I couldn't put it all into one video. Please check below for other videos that are coming out on the same subject. Thanks. Baby Flamenco. Bye.